Have you ever noticed the moment you finally slow down or you go on holiday, you get sick. You push, push, push until the very last workday and you tell yourself, just get me to Friday or just get me to the holiday time. And then the minute you stop, your immune system waves a white flag and you spend half of your holiday sick in bed, drinking things like med lemon instead of cocktails. There's some real science behind this. It's called psychoneuroimmunology. It's a really fancy word that talks about the connection between your mind, your nervous system, and your immune system. They're always talking to each other every day. When you keep yourself in that stress mode and you're go, 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 and you're wired all the time, that's when you drop into fights and flights. It sends a message to your immune system that we don't have time to heal. We don't have time to repair. Please just keep me alive. That's basically the message you're giving. So your immune system suppresses its normal defenses. So it's not that you start getting sick when you rest. It's that your immune system finally has the space to fight off the viruses and the inflammation it was previously pushing down. The symptoms you feel, the fatigue, the congestion, the aches, are basically just your body finally saying, let's turn the healing response back on and that crash is your immune system actually catching up. So what do you do to make sure that you don't repeat that this year? Three things that you can do. Number one, create micro rest breaks during the week. Even if it's just five minutes in a day, check in with yourself, take some deep breaths, go from your head to your toe, and just honestly just check in with yourself. Do some cold plunging, hum, laugh, just create some kind of safety in your nervous system. Number two, Lighten your emotional backpack. Just take shit out of that backpack and just write it down. How are you feeling? Just navigate what's going on at the moment. Don't live in autopilot for too long. And number three, don't wait for the holidays to give yourself a little bit of a rest. Honestly, if it means that you have to go to a yoga class, even if you really suck at yoga, but you know that for an hour you are going to have calm, you're going to be in a room surrounded by people with calm energy, calm music, the lights are dim, you don't have your phone, it's probably the best hour you're going to ever have in your day. Give yourself that grace, give yourself that little gift before your holidays kick in so that you don't get sick.